okay now we have a question number two what is the question number two just focus uh, distinguish between first thing is conductors known conductors so known conductor is also called insulators third is semiconductor and fourth is superconductor so guys uh, to understand this thing mike we you have already learned these things means from the junior grades so exactly what we have to learn on which part we need to focus conductors conductors means easily easily flow of electrical current okay nothing to explain in this semiconductors means as compared to insulators and as compared to conductors insulators no current remember ha huh? no current will flow but in conductors let's say 95% or 80% 90% this much amount of the current is flowing let's say 90% okay but semiconductors what does it mean it means let's say around 50% current will flow and 50% there is a resistance fine okay this is the easy one now i'm going to teach you the fifth point that is the interesting one resistance is very small i already told you resistance is high means okay little bit high but less than the insulators resistance is very high that is your insulators guys now what exactly you need to learn that is a different part that is point number 6 which is the important one in terms of conductors in terms of conductors i will write ha huh? conductors what we have positive temperature coefficient what does it mean ki temperature coefficient is positive what does it mean it means when temperature rise whenever temperature rise remember resistance increase and if temperature increase the property of conductor means you can say if the resistance increase capacitance or the property of the capacitor reduce remember this thing again if temperature increase then resistance also increase because of that electrons will flow less they will feel more pressure they will feel more resistance this is the very very important point okay but in case of semiconductor this is your semiconductor so remember if temperature increase resistance decrease and resistance decrease then your wire or the semiconductor behaves good then their conductivity increase clear third point similarly the same thing with the insulators if you increase the temperature temperature increase resistance decrease and if the resistance decrease the conductivity increase fine guys so these are the major points what you need to remember so seventh you already know the examples of conductors copper aluminum all these things silver gold these are the conductors semiconductor silicon and germanium are the best examples and in terms of insulator mica paper glass all these things are the semiconductors so guys what exactly the last point you need to understand that is the superconductor so what is superconductor ha huh? super conductor so in case of superconductor what you need to understand i told you in case of conductors they are around 80 85 90% 90%. but in case of superconductor you will get 100% current value so 100% current flow what does it mean the first point the second point is resistance is approximate equals to 0 resistance is approximate equals to 0 so what is the condition there is a condition so condition should be the temperature is very low temperature is very low temperature low okay 
low means up to which value it is very very low up to 4.2 kelvin up to 4.2 kelvin and at this temperature at this temperature we can say niobium and titanium alloy because we mix two things na niobium and titanium alloy they shows superconductivity they show super conductivity clear guys so they show super conductivity means 100% current will flow and it shows zero resistance fine 